What's up guys, it's your boy Nero, and today I'm on Minecraft again, but I'm going to show you uh, a little a little thing. You see this? It's a perfectly reasonable, trustable pathway to a chest. Oh, but no. It's a uh, pretty undetectable trap, and... I'm going to show you how to do it. This is basically how it looks without the extras. So if I switch myself back to if I switch back to creative and this is all you need to make this pretty much. You need redstone piston, you need a sticky piston, you need a block of redstone. This uh, runs basically off redstone, this full thing. But to make this, also you you'll need you'll need a bit of wool to hide it. But it goes off a little pulse when you stand on a redstone block. It um, creates a quick little pulse type thing. So if you look, it, it does that. It starts to glow. And if you're underground, you see it glow better. But I'm going to show you real quickly how to make it. You could do what you will with the trap. It's uh, basically up to you how you use it. But if you go ahead and do this, it's pretty. It's pretty simple design, to be honest. So you should get it pretty easily. But just go ahead and make it. And then if you put redstone on the top, and then you put a block here and here, and put this here like this. This is basically how it works. This is it finished. Pretty much. This is how it works. But what we do to make it into a trap for this pulse is you place this, oh no, not like that. You put a piston here. And this works because what you do after this is you place a sign on the on the block on this bit here this part of it not this part and then from there you start sticking signs to the actual sign that's stuck to the piston so when you activate this the redstone here it sends a pulse which moves all of this, but it moves this redstone block here, which deactivates this, well, no, in fact, no, that's wrong. It moves this, which means it's not activating the piston anymore, so the piston retracts, which breaks this sign. So if you were to place, just a minute, let me get some wool. Uh, let's go gray wool this time, just for a, uh, and then because, Placing on top of a redstone block or right clicking it all on it makes it um, activate. I like to just. Oh, what did I notice there? It's grey, I can't see it. You uh, place on the sides like this, and then to make sure you don't activate the redstone, if you click on the side of the wall instead of on top of it sometimes it's harder than it looks but that's that there add a few extra signs an easy way to place this is to put blocks either side of it and then go down the side but you can do what you will with the trap itself so what I did in the other trap is I put um, lava in the bottom of this pit you make a pit which is wherever it looks like it's going to land. That could be the end of the corridor, like that. You could put a chest end. Well, you could put a chest end if you go out one more and place a bit under there, like that. Which you could place a chest in that gap easily. So if we go ahead and grab a bit of lava, this is what I did. I drop some lava in the bottom of it not exactly like that one but if you uh, are 
come out further. Make sure you don't right click on the actual redstone block itself. And if I switch back to survival, once I step on the redstone, oh, you fall in lava. And it destroys every single, um, all of the actual signs because the sign that's connected to this piston, as I explained, it um, breaks that sign. And because every other sign is connected to it, it breaks it. So it only works whenever the redstone's active. And then when it turns off, it, it releases another pulse, which again activates the trap. So you have to wait for it to uh, turn off, or you could replace the redstone itself, which to get it in survival, you need a, um, a silk touch pickaxe. But that's a quick tutorial for you. Hope you enjoyed that. Oh, I'm going to die again. Oh well. Upon that death, I will speak to you guys later. Hope this helps. And peace.